This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of the Lego set Dol Guldur Ambush. This is a set from the Habit, the Desolation of Smog, and with it, it's a small little set that attaches to the Dol Guldur battle set, which I will be reviewing next week. And I will show the connection next week also. And with it, this is a cool little set and is a nice addition to that set. You also get some exclusive pieces and an exclusive figure. So with it, let's take a look at everything in it. First is a uh, Gundabad Orc. And with it, this one actually has this headpiece, which I don't think is on any of the other Gundabag Arc figures that you could get in other Hobbit sets. So that's a cool little piece. It has a pretty simple design and has this little mace. Looking at the next one, I think it's the exact same figure, it just has these shoulder pads and this sword and that's the only major difference between those two figures since both are designed in a pretty similar way the final figure in this is bayorn who obviously does not appear in anything related to dogoldor but i think they just wanted to have a bayorn figure in the sets and this is the one they decided to put him in Looking at the back side, it's a pretty simple printing. And the front side, it's pretty cool too. The cool thing about him is his head's actually a molded piece. And with it, it looks like it's a minifigure head with a hairpiece over it. But it is all one piece, and I was really surprised when I saw him and, was, and he was built like that. Moving on to the builds of the set. The first is this catapult, and with it, it's a really simple design. If you push this forward, it will launch the little rocks out. And you could launch them individually, or at the same time. I'm not going to do that fully because I don't want to lose these pieces. Putting it to the side, you also have one extra piece of ammo, and two skeletons. With two skeleton heads, they just have laying around. Looking at the main build of it, you have the small section of Dol Guldur. You have a small entryway, a tree, a torch, and this little area in the rack that pops out to reveal a small little missile you could launch, and you get one more of those. With it, there is also some pretty basic designs, and it has two axe blades that swings out, and this giant hammer. On the back side, you can see the mechanisms for that. You can just simply grab this and twist it back, close this, and yeah, it's a pretty simple thing. I haven't really tested it out with a minifigure on it, but you can put the orc here, and they can be knocked forward by the axe blades. Or testing it with this one, could be knocked forward with the hammer, although you need to make sure it is fully pushed in, or else you could lose it, and it's not going to go in all the way. But yeah, this set is definitely a cool one, and if you can find it for a reasonable price, I would definitely recommend to get it. That would probably be around 30, 40 bucks worth it. Not, not being a sealed copy. I think I, but I'd say yeah, get it around there just a little bit more if it's sealed. Some people tried to sell it for a lot more. So I definitely would look for someone who's selling it around that price range 
But yeah, this is a really cool set, and I would definitely recommend for you to get it. And please let me know what you think of it, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.